Alrighty, here we go. It is me. It's not like I, you know, accidentally started the stream with this screen on and then realized it after 30 seconds. That didn't happen. Not at all. Who knows? Alright, anyways. Let's get to it. We're getting the likes done tonight. We did one like last night. I'm hoping to get the other two done tonight. Um, question is, do I need any Pokeballs? I don't think so. Uh, I can return. Oh, hey, somebody found one of my satchels. Nice. Oh, it's one of the ones I lost last night. Nice. Thank you, Birdie. Whoever you might be. You have my thanks. Why is it still saying... It's still saying I have something I can do here. Strange. Oh, now it went away. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think we're okay. Um, so we got one lake down. One lake up here. There's the one here. I guess it's just in order. You don't really get to choose. Okay, Alabaster Icelands. Let me catch a snow run, just to say I did. So, Blue, I have a theory as to why you had two shinies in this area. This area is super wide open, um, and there's a lot more Pokemon spawns. So I feel like it was um, the sheer amount of spawns that happened helped get you those two shinies. There's an Avalug there. You guys never used to be here. <laughs> oh my god. I want it. He is a big boy. And I got him. Maybe I'll rename that one for uh, Dare Tech. He can have the alpha. If he stops in tonight, I'll ask him. Dusk stone? Interesting. I thought the only way to get the special stones was through, like, the uh, Ginkgo Guild.
Ooh, these guys are uh... they're aggressive little boys. Sir, there's an unknown on the other one. Is there an unknown on this one? Nope, you can find them on Ursaluna as well as the stone geodes. Oh, I really don't use Ursaluna all that often. I really probably should. Is it on top? Nope. Must just not be one here. Alright, guys. Here we are, Lake Aquity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Aquity is protected by the Pokemon Uxie. When Uxie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyways. Pull up my god phone, let's open up this cave. Bam. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Lemon. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting Lake Guardian. Take care. I didn't want you here anyways, Lolo. I told you to stay behind and nope. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Hey, I don't have a Zoroark. I don't even think I have a Zorua. I know you don't need me to tell you this, Lemon, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. Ooh, I'm going for it. We're gonna try and catch this guy. Wow. Alright. Typhlosion. Oh, you're a much easier level. I think the other one was like level 60. Um, I don't want to kill it, but I do want to do damage. Oh! Oh yeah, because I guess it is a dark Pokemon still. No! Oh, good god. Thank you. I hit the wrong button. Poor Star Raptor. Dead because of my own incompetence. Just because I swap to the balls in the menu doesn't mean that I'm actually going to throw one. Hey, I got it too. Nice. Knew you could do it, Lemon. You feel a mysterious presence. It's Uxie! Come, I will test your knowledge. 
Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Combi, Zubat. So Combi has two. Zubat has two. Unknown has one. Magneton has four? No, three. Yeah, Magneton has three. Dusclop has one. So two. Oh, sorry. It's two, zero, one, three, one. Eyes. They have two eyes. How many eyes do combies have? Do combies not have eyes? What do combies look like? The combies, they're like little, like three hexagons. Mm -hmm. And they have two eyes. On each hexagon. Do they? Oh my god. Really? Lemon? Lemon Dingo? Who doesn't know what a fucking combi looks like? <clears throat> I'm. I'm. <clears throat> I've been catching them so often. I thought they only had two on the bottom one. How many eyes does combi have? Oh my god, it has six eyes! Um. You're right that the bottom one is the one that dictates whether it's a female or a male. I. I. Wow. Okay. Combies have six eyes. So try that number again. Look, I also didn't know that Pillow Swine had eyes. I thought it just had tufts over it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, come on. Okay, so Combi has six, Zubat has zero. So six, zero. Unknown has one, so that equals seven. Magneton, Magneton has three. So that's 10. Dust Club has 1, so that's 11. How many eyes are there? Oh, as it. Oh. Okay, so 6, then 0. It was combi. Zubat. Combi Zubat. Something. Magneton. Unknown. Oh, Unknown has one. The Magneton has three. Um, Dusclops has one. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Combi Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Yeah. I obtained Uxie's Claw. Proof that you've completed the trial set by Uxie, the being of knowledge that lies at Lake Aquity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. And poof, you're gone. Just one more to go. I assume all went well, Lemon. Indeed it did. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Though, having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Like yours? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could well be right. 
I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return to Mistress Kagita's home? Let's go back. Wonderful, then we can see if Mistress Kagita has any more insights to share with us. So, that's Uxie's Claw. I sense a warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed, we may be able want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of the Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now... If, if a Pokemon were, truly were to appear from beyond, beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Lemon. There's no time to lose. We've got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Follow. Stay here. Watch. Is that all you really do? Remember, once you sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded runes. I don't trust this guy. He seems shifty to me. Does he seem shifty to anybody else? Am I reading too far into this? It's the Diamond Clan homeland. All right, I'm just going to do a cursory check, make sure there's no unknowns. I doubt it. Oh, okay, guess not. Do you know about Lake Valor? It is said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also theories that say it was carved out of the midst of the Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what the legend would have us believe. Mining God Phone Go. Ta da. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Lemon. In we go, Lemon. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. You keep saying that. A defeated one. I subdued the other. Let's see what we're up against. Is that an overquill? A menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch it, Lemon. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. It's rough. He pointy. You killed him by accident. Okay. Question is, which one do I want out first? Go with electric, I guess. F 
fishy me. That's why I have to now train my stupid clawfish, yeah. The alpha overquill is something. Oh! Damn. Okay. Just getting right to it, are we? Uh, well, you just hurt yourself pretty badly, so I'm just going to... Uh, I'll do a couple of these. Now you'll get some, uh, recoil. Uh, I'm going to send out Star Raptor. We're going to use an Ultra Ball. Can I catch you? Will you be kind? No, no, you will not be kind. Agile style. Oh. He might kill himself. Maybe if I send out, like, one of your kind and, uh, show you that I'm not a horrible person, you'll want to be friends. See? He just needed to see his own friend and be like, yeah, look, you're not so bad. You treat him good. You'll treat me good. Let me just stay in this ball for you. That's my lemon. You feel a mysterious presence. Hello, Azelf. <laughs> Blue says, damn. Sorry, Blue. I think we can trade each other, though. Oh, wait. We would need two copies of the game. There goes that plan. Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. What, do I have to fight you? Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at Azelf. Uh... You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? seem to hear a voice inside your head. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? Yeah, like, come on, man. I'm gonna hit you. That hit you. Screw you. Give up. Your struggle, you struggle in vain. Will you press on? Yes, I will press on. I will hit you with a bomb. The world depends on it. You didn't even try that time. You like took pity on me because I suck. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You're like, aha, I'm too fast for you. Let me just stand still. Maybe you'll hit me then. 
I obtained Azelf's Fang. Oh, really? Okay. Fair. Looks like our lake journey is complete. Alright, here we go. Seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told then to head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Hmm. Oh, I don't even get to travel there myself? Okay. That's cool. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring the world, bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. If I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish... I had the aid of a really rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Ooh. Something's happening. Ah, the Pokemon of the Lakes. received the red chain. So it was true, the pact of our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Lemon. Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. Seems that the commander is going to forgo waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What is he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know what our lemon has managed to get the rain red chain now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason and then call off this foolhardy plan of his. I somehow don't think that's going to be the case. No peas and mule. Yeah. Lemon? Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Silent's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait a minute, will you? Wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. Oh, my dear Lemon. The professor has been awfully worried about you, Lemon. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. Th that's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think that it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where is the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. 
we are to join her in the Survey Corps' office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado is gone. Well, he set out from Mount Coronet with the Sur Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. What a dummy. The freaking captain or commander. What a dummy. It's Panty-sama! How are you doing? So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I visited the lakes. Go on. And they gave me this cool red chain. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time raft, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander has made the decision to take care of this take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat they were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten Lemon to help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Lemon, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make, this, make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Oh, right. We have a Lucario. What the hell's the Lucario doing here? Group. Something the matter, Lucario? He wants to fight me. Why does he want to fight me? What did I do to him? I'm Rai, and you are? I am Lemon. Okay, you're Lemon. Nice to meet you. Group. What is it, Lucario? Grew. Seems Lucario sensed a strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? So many quests. Punch your Pokemon in the head, eat its yummy gray stuff. <laughs> Snow White Vulpix in the snow? Security Corps fella from Alola has several Vulpix, but he calls them Kyo Kyo. Track him down and see what his request entails. Seems Morel, the mushroom hunter, needs a helping hand or nose. Make use of Swin of special skills and fulfill his request. There are no other, no other requests there. That's a dare tech job? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, if it isn't one of our beloved customers. Might I trouble you to help me a little survey work? In my family, we've always passed down tales of some ancestor that lived in a village around the avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find any hint of such settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. But everyone wants to know about where they came from, don't they? So help me out if you see any evidence of people ever lived in avalanche slopes. Somebody find another of my satchels? 
Oh my god. Thank you, Mackie. And thank you, Ant. I greatly appreciate that. Wherever you might be. Alrighty. Actually, I'm, I'm here in town. There's a crafting bench over here. I have my storage. I should actually probably deposit some of my crap too. Uh, I think the farm is doing apricorns. Come on, get up there. At least they hope they are. Nope. Vivichokes, Bugwort Blooms, King's Leaf. Uh, yeah, do some Apricorns, please. stuff into here. Um, did I get back any of my charms? not look like it, but I don't think I can afford to get new ones anyways, so... Oops. Alright, Adamin. Let's go. There you are, Lemon. Iridia is already headed to Mount Cornet. How are things looking here? The commander is already at Mount Cornet. He's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than a that dignified manner of his let's get on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, alright then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Lemon. If you were to show up without, with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a-wasting, you see there. Hmm, who's the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of this village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? That's right, Lemon worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, here, take this. Oh, thank you. Max Revive, that's actually gonna help. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, return here, alive. I can do it, Captain! I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Are they poisoned? 
topical medicine meant to apply to a Pokemon. It could be used to completely restore max HP of a single Pokemon. Looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Iridia have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Lemon, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Why would you go set up shop at the temple? Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here, for moral support at least. Have you learned how to not be a douche? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's an Elekid. Well, okay. Fine. Be that way. Oh! Dodge one and end up right into another. Not good. Fly away. Going in. Who are you? Why are you here? This feels like a battle. Oh, it's freaking Benny! Oh ho, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that Taskmaster Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even th these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. What? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds. Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. Another annoying Ben has entered your life now? <laughs> He's the commander's hitman. <laughs> what is this? All the freaking gritty deeds? What, do you snap somebody's neck if they don't like your fucking food? My soup has a fly. Oh yeah? You're dead. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in the new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. What the hell? <laughs> when I heard you managed to call those nobles one after another, oh, did, I, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these years. What is going on? Benny, like the freaking unsuspecting cook is a kick-ass ninja? What? I am so confused. He's strong. Well, he better be stronger than a crunch. 
5960? What is 5960? Oh, 59 to 60 is his levels. Oosh. A Sneasler. Ooh. Okay. What do I got? What do I got at my disposal here? Um, got rock. Got flying. I feel like I might need the flying and the fighting for later. Uh, so we're gonna go with Rhydon. Rhydon, don't let me down! Honestly, you're a little under level for these battles coming up. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. Gallade? Oh no, that's fighting. Goodbye, Rhydon. Yeah, nothing you got. Just a little. You might be okay. Maybe. How do I... Super effective, super effective. Okay, so I was right. I do need that flying now. I'm gonna try and get whatever damage I can. And, uh... Yeah, that doesn't change my turn order, even if I use an agile style. Just go with a regular. Staraptor. Got Staraptor for his flying. And do a strong style aerial ace. That should get rid of uh, Gallade, no problem. There we go. Perfect. Gardevoir. Uh... Oh, this is going to be tough. Yeah, nothing super effective against that on you. Uh, but what about my Pokemon? Let's see. Got Infernal Parade on Typhlosion. That's going to be handy. Uh, and Barbarage and Poison Jab on Quillfish. So that's good. So at least I have a couple possible good hits coming in. Agile style. Psychic. Okay, now the question is, is my Typhlosion faster than the Gardevoir? Can I interrupt that move? The answer is yes. Infernal Parade. Oh! And you use a Max Potion? What is this? Psychic. That's gonna hurt. A lot. Because I'm ghost, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna put out Quillfish. Quillfish will be my sacrifice. do the bar barrage anyway to over level him. Oh, Quillfish for the win! 16 levels lower and you still murder it. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be con consigned to history. Indeed. Although, props to Benny. I did not see him being that cool 
Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Lemon. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burn to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. Do you think maybe they're from Johto with the burned tower that burned down? From, uh, I think it was ho -Oh that burned it down? That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within the space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if he must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. I have motivation. You said you're gonna feed me? Let's freaking go. Uh, are my Pokemon all healed? No. Yay, they're healed. Any Pokemon up here? Probably not. It's a nice view, though. All right, you. What do you have for sale? Oh shit! Ben tried to kill you. Yeah, indeed. Well, this is it. Have you bought everything you need? Um, dude, I don't even have money to. <laughs> Freaking buy what I need. Um. Yeah, he. Benny. Benny tried to kill me. Alright. Get rid of that. At least gives me some. Some stuff. I don't have any nuggets, eh? No nuggets. No, I don't want to sell those. I want those. I want the revives too. Hey guys, can you like... Hmm. You've brought the red chain. Lemon, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's appeared been sighted through the rift. I, I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh, but Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Then I will go! Kamado, you fool! Stop! You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me, man. I can do this. What do you think, e Do you think... Even the red chain is some trick on Lemon's part? He worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trials set by the three Pokemon of the Lakes. If he somehow concocted all of that on his own, then what hope do we ha even have, anyway? Perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? He should have been murked with his loved ones in his old village. Whoa! 
Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine, enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Lemon. Today we battle in earnest. What, really? Okay. Doesn't deserve that glorious facial hair. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's do this. Typhlosion. Shave it off his face? I'll try. And you're burned. Oh wow, you actually switch out your Pokemon? What is this? Is there like some sort of freaking AI now? Like this is interesting. Ha, Snorlax. Get wrecked. Golem. Okay. Yep, yep. Stealth Rock, that's gonna hurt. Alright. I think I have a decent spread, though. Like, in terms of movesets, I, I think I'm pretty... Pretty good. Especially when I get three attacks in a row. I thought two was the most I could get. Psychic. Oof. Yeah, right? I'm sorry. Lenoki, look away. I have to hurt it. Calm mind. Okay. Thunder. It avoided it. Hmm. Okay. Do I have anything that's super effective against Psychic? Quillfish! Okay. You did this before. Do it again. And he does it! Quillfish is now buffish. Yeah, get wrecked. You're still burned. That's okay. You're still a flying Pokemon. Go right on. Ultimate Redemption Arc, let's go. He went from fainting every freaking battle that I had him out in. To just destroying people. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. You truly are a force to be reckoned with.
That's right. Bow. Lemon, the fates I have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask it, it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all of the Pokemon living in Sui. Who is Celestica? Is that a name I should be familiar with? Because I'm drawing a blank. Don't you worry, Commander. We got the red chain. Okay. Here we go. Weren't you guys down there? Or was I teleported back down? Oh, cool. It's all the, uh, the guardians and the ride ones. Voltorb, Sneasler, Braviary, Avalug. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh. I, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. For the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. Cool. Is he possessed? I don't think so. It's an earthquake. Oh, what's going to come out of there? It's Dialga. going on? It broke? Or is it holding him there? Typhlosion. Okay. This is going to be a little rough. Yep, this is going to be a little rough. I got this, yeah. <sighs> I don't know, do I want to use... I'll just use a regular one. Yeah, see, it would have just outright killed him. Why is he walking to me? I think because he was a little bit far away. Don't kill him! Oh, thank God. Ooh, Staraptor, you dead. Okay. Items. Ultra Ball. Go. Catch the Dialga. Please. Thank you. Yeah, woo. I was 
<laughs> AB down, yeah, yeah, AB down, AB down. He caught it. The red chain has shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the Lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Lemon, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simple, stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the sur Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga's speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed the bits. No way even Lemon could tackle another Pokemon as strong as the last one now. <laughs> Is this Palkia? It's Palkia! Is it? What do you mean, Blue? Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, 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 All of you, we must vacate this. Gaff, yeah, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on. We gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander... That was the fucking best sound effect. <laughs> You're welcome. I have enhanced your life just a little bit with that. We can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before, Lemon. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? Was that caused by the strange lightning that threw? You can do it, thank you. <laughs> what Pokemon are their frenzied states? I love the little, uh, the copy pasta there. It's great. I can't believe there really are t we're two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To both of you, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Lemon. And to you, Lemon. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team. It's a function on my phone. Anticipate more. <laughs> oh, dear God. Forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's not like we could sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reason to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state at the, up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further of my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. Um, no, let's actually rewind a little bit. And, uh... And talk about that. Wild Sudowoodo has appeared. <laughs> that's awesome, because that's exactly what he does. He does whoop. And then he walks away. And then he goes whoop. Seems having Lemon about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance getting through this disaster without you. 
We're still not through it. How is he to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan, thanks to what, what mighty Dialga has told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you. Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, mighty, finally, mighty Dialga said that it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least, the pieces anyway, I did collect them. And the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what about the stone of creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ores sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? That face says no. Oh! Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Lemon, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirder and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them? Aha, just as I remembered, here on the back of the Earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see, we must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material property as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow comes around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? Perhaps we should call it Origin Ore. Arita, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leanne to the summit camp at once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Okay, he hasn't changed. I I had hope. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe he's nice. But no, no, he's not. He's still just as equally self-absorbed. Now, Adamin. Jumping in here to see a dank Gardevoir or Ninetales? Uh, hey, how you doing? Um, I don't have a Gardevoir or a Ninetales. <laughs> Actually, I do have a Ninetales, um, but uh, it's an Alpha too. So here, here, hold on. Once I get through this, I'll show you. Now, Adam and all these other lots have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of Great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm really your Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, Great Leader Adamant, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people from our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamant. Oh, oh, oh. You silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work that they are suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. What a jerk. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. <laughs> and you're also a little compared to me. So humble. Three candy truffles. Also Alpha Low Punny. Yes, we have an Alpha Low Punny. I brought Leanne. Yeesh, the ugly hat suits you as poorly as the important role does. I don't like this at all. Melly, shut up! I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. 
Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug. That veers all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Ellie, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam and everyone back home is all worked up about the fact that you spoke to Almighty Sinnoh. Or Mighty Dialga or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Warden Leon, if you would. My god. Guys, enough of the dialogue. Certainly. So let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto. I don't want to leave yet. Thank you. Alright, let's 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 see if I can't find my sick nine tails. Where... Where is my nine tails? Not there. Not there. Not there. I know, right? No, I got one. I'm pretty sure I got one. Where the hell is it? I do have a lot of Vulpix. But yeah, I was pretty sure I had a Ninetales. Now I'm... Now I'm not so sure. Yeah, you have two on your account. That's right, Blue, but... I swear I had one. No, I didn't release it. I wouldn't release an Alpha Ninetales. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon. Then I must have three then. I'm super sad now. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got this cool Ninetales. No. No, I don't. Then go get one? Alright, alright. Yep, I do. Alright, fitness trainer, just for you. We're gonna go and get one. If I can leave here. Pause the world quest for Nine Tails. Exactly. We must evolve Vulpix. Okay. Okay. Uh, you you want me to go get the? Okay, I'll go get the Alpha. Blue says go get the Alpha. She she's very adamant to get the Alpha. We're getting that Alpha. The world might be at stake. Space and time might rip apart as we know it, but I'm going to get that damn fox just for you. Alright. Here we go. It's almost better to take the water. I don't have to worry about flying over that cliff. Drop and go back? Why? You thought you saw a shiny? I think these are shinies. Okay. I think it was the water behind him. I'll just pretend he never caught the original one because that would imply you got rid of him slash her. Yeah. I... See, I helped Blue on... Oh, thank you very much, 
for the subscription, Skelly. Eight months. Damn. Have you checked your BH? My what? Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh. See, I, I play on uh, Blue's account too every so often to um, just help her out and catch other Pokemon. Um, just trying to help you find shiny. I don't think so. So, I know I've caught at least two on her account. We're gonna get this guy, our girl, whatever it happens to be. Come on, be nice. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. No, oh, now you want to fight? No. You want to know what would be great? A shiny one. Indeed! Oh, that one went way over. Come on, Ninetales. Okay, fine. We're gonna do this the hard way. It's filled with wild might! I'm going to do a not super effective flamethrower on you. Okay, that did way less damage than what I thought it would. <sighs> See ya, Typhlosion! Rip. Okay. I'm going to put out a rock Pokemon. Okay. Rock smash. I just want you down to at least half health. That's all I want. Now uh, you're going to be a jerk. It's okay. I'm keep messing them up. It's fine. I'll heal them. Skip dab, bat dab. No, no. No, I'm not reading that out loud. Screw you. You almost had me. Oh, it nuked you? <laughs> Take that. Uh, <laughs> this is why I put the H. Uh, there you go. I got you an alpha. If you give me a 30 seconds here. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Here, let me... Let me go back to camp. You are very welcome. I'm going to go back to camp. I'm going to take out the glorious nine tails. That I now definitely have. It's the second strongest Pokemon I own indeed. There you go. Yeah. I'll have a nice little chat with it. Look forward to the day in the future when you have a Gardevoir as well. Uh, yeah, one day. Um, I have a Ralts, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, I want to see my Pokemon. Let's see. I have a Corellia. And a Ralts. They're both male. Well, rip. Um, do I have any other ones? Tall Nine Tails is great. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go hunting later, that's for sure. Um, yeah, no, no other Ralts or Krillias. So one day, one day I will have a Gardevoir. I just have to check in. All right. Thank you very much. Onwards to continue saving the world. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will. I'm pretty sure I'll have a good rest of the stream there. Should be nine tales. What nine stories does it tell, huh? What are its nine tales? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Your Pokemon catching efforts are quite clearly bearing fruit. How about Ripple then? And actually, Blue brings up a good point. This is probably a good stopping point for tonight. It is almost 10 o'clock. Two grand! Okay. What would I like to do? Let's go back to the village. <laughs> I think Skelly is beefing. Alrighty. So, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else here, uh, we are done for the night. But thank you very much for watching and stopping by. Um, fitness trainer i'm glad i could make your night by catching a nine tails for you that that's kind of special um but yeah uh and thank you very much for the follow too uh but i'm just gonna see if anybody else is online drook here drook just started diablo 3 all right we're gonna go and raid mr drook dane so don't tell me my own chat rules i know my chat rules all right so slash Raid, Druk, Dane, everybody go and say hi, show some love, say some nice things to him, leave a follow if you like him. I'm not your mother, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but we are going to go and raid him. We will be back tomorrow night for Guild Wars 2 with Lenoki. Um, I think I think I finally figured out what I want to do on Thursday, so. But, have a good one, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>